Hey everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transcode video files using VLC. So to start off, you want to install VLC and the instructions on how to do that is in the description of the video in the article that I wrote. After that, you can just open up VLC like so. Now, once you've gotten VLC open, click on the media button and you're going to want to look for convert slash save. From there, you click add to the file selector and I've got an old video that I filmed a long, long time ago that I'm going to use. And uh, we can add that. Now from there, I can click the Convert Save button. And now it's going to give me options on what I want to convert this as. So this is a WebM, so I will need to click, uh, you know, Destination File, and I will need to save it as a WebM. And I can save it on my desktop. Click Save. Now, the thing about VLC is that it doesn't give you information on like what you're doing in terms of formats. It just kind of assumes that you know. So the reason that I went with WebM is because I know this file can be saved as a WebM. You may need to read the VLC manual for more intricate information on their encoding and conversion process, but just take it from me. If you want to convert, you know, it says, it says here, so MP4, WebM, OGG, you know, you have to write the file name yourself and it should be okay. But once you've got all that taken care of and you can select these if you want to, click the start button. Now it's going to use the progress bar as a converter. And now I'm not gonna sit here for the whole, you know, six minutes. We'll pause and come back, but it uh, goes through the video frame by frame and it will convert it. Now once the conversion process is complete, we can see the file is on my desktop and it's now a WebM. So pretty cool. I don't know if I would recommend VLC as my primary converter tool, but if you're in a pinch, you don't have something like Handbrake to work with, or maybe you just want to convert an existing, just a small video, you know, you can. And VLC is very useful for that in that respect. So I hope you guys found this useful and I will see you in the next video.